Okay, problem number four on this test is irrational. Okay, if something irrational, then it's going to be in a square root, but it's not going to be a perfect square. Okay, square root of four equals two. That's rational. There's nothing irrational about that. The square root of 169 is 13. There's nothing irrational about that, right? But the square root of 8 is irrational. The square root of 2 is irrational. So these are your shaded ones. You're going to shade those on the test, because those are the ones that are irrational. A fraction is perfectly rational, okay? A decimal that ends is rational. Does that make sense? The only thing irrational is when you have a cubic or a square root or a fourth root of something that doesn't come out nice and neat. Okay? If I did the fourth root of 16, well, that's 2. Nothing wrong with that. The fourth root of 81 is 3. There's nothing wrong with that. The cubed root of 27 is 3. There's nothing wrong with that. But when I start doing the cubed root of 26, well, now I have an issue. Now it's irrational. Does that make sense? So throw in your calculator. If it comes up with a bunch of crap, there you go. Okay? Keep it simple. Don't make this test harder than it is.